Hi guys! Oh, just having technical issues. Um, hoping you can all see me. Just wait to see if anybody turns up. I'll just give it a few minutes and hope that people can hear me. So hoping some people will tap into it in a minute and we're just going to talk. Hi Hetty, I can't see you but I can see that you've joined so thank you so much, that's fantastic. And um, thank you. So we're just going to uh, spend a few minutes tonight just trying this out to make sure it works for me. And um, just have a very quick chat about gratitude. Hi Gemma, thank you so much for joining, that's fantastic, thank you. I have two people, this is really exciting. So, <laughs> it is indeed my most liked video I've just been told on the screen, which is excellent. Fabulous, and you can see and hear me, great. Ah, oh, Emma, lovely to see you too, thank you so much. Oh, I'm Nikki, hello. Fantastic. So, I'm just gonna give it a couple more minutes and um, and then we'll we'll just chat for a few moments. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, ladies. This is really kind of you. If there's anything in particular that you'd like me to cover, then by all means, please just drop a comment in the bottom bit there for me, and I'll see what I can do for you. Okay, just give it one more minute and then we'll... Okay, so what I wanted to just talk very briefly to you tonight is someone asked if I could just talk a little bit about um, connecting with gratitude with children, especially at this time of year. Um, and I know that this time of year can be challenging for absolutely everybody, but um, in particular as the children get really excited about the next few weeks ahead, um, it can be quite daunting and and they're so full of excitement and exuberance as well so it's really interesting to um see how we can keep them excited but grounded and hi danny lovely to see you thank you so much and um just really have a think about how you could connect gratitude with your children how you could really bring that positive perspective to their day and the example i wanted to share with you is something so incredibly simple which happened to me last week but also so profound in the way in which um, we sometimes forget how simple the world is to children especially young children so last week i was with one of my beautiful nephews he's uh he'll be four at the beginning of next year and I was walking along um, the pavement with him. It was really quite a cold day and we were all wrapped up really warm. And we were walking across some leaves. And he, without any prompting, just holding my hand said, we're walking on really crunchy leaves. And I was like, wow, listen to the articulation in that. Just, you know, not just leaves or we're kicking through the leaves, the crunchy leaves. And I was like, wow, this is just so simple. And what an appreciation just to be outside and just to be walking down the street but to actually just appreciate what was going on for him and all of those senses that he could hear the crunchy leaves he could feel them underneath his feet as well i was like god that is just so incredibly simple yet so powerful as well so my suggestion for you guys tonight was you know what would it be like when you're out and about tomorrow what are you appreciating just around that simple task of just walking around but what are you noticing um, and how could you encourage that practice with children as well so just like I did with my nephew last week without any prompting we then had a really lovely conversation around it was what are they noticing what isn't what are they noticing when something's going on for them and especially perhaps if they're being a little bit challenging or you're stuck in a queue and with all the Christmas shopping that you're trying to do, what can you encourage your children to notice right now when they're sat there in that trolley or stood next to you 
what are they noticing and what are they appreciating and sometimes even just a really simple question um what's what's made them smile so what's made them feel happy today as well so just thought i'd share that with you i can see some little sort of likes and hearts going across so that's lovely thank you so much for your interaction um so the other thing i just wanted to share briefly with you tonight was um i'm currently reading um Brené Brown's Daring Greatly book and I came across um, a couple of sentences oh hi Kelly lovely to see you um, and I came across um, a couple of sentences which really resonated with me today that I wanted to share with you tonight and that was around belonging which I think sits incredibly well with gratitude is that when we actually feel like we belong with ourselves and there's self-acceptance we find it much easier to really connect with a positive perspective of gratitude as well and there's something around um that you know that real acceptance of who we are and, and this is what this hub is all about it's about being happy to be in your own skin it's about just really noticing us waking up in the morning and the air in the lungs and the sun is shining occasionally and, and the blue skies and the frost it's just around that simple stuff that we have around us but also how we feel in our own skin you know are we happy to be ourselves do we show up authentically in everything that we do as well so the sentence i just wanted to share with you from this book was around belonging and it says belonging is the innate human desire to be part of something larger than us and because this yearning is so primal we often try to acquire it by fitting in and by seeking approval wow how true is that how often have we compared ourselves to others how often have we tried to fit into a social group because we think that's what's acceptable or that's what peers um, encourage us to do rather than actually standing by ourselves I don't know if any of you have been watching Celebrity Get Me Out of Here and saw the final last night and they were the words that Scarlett said just before she won was around you know she was happy to be herself she felt she wasn't particularly accepted in social cir circles as a child um, but she was her own self and she was really proud of that and and that really rang true for me last night I'd love to encourage her into the hub. It'd be fabulous um, But there really is something around that self-acceptance and um, Brené goes on to say that um, True belonging only happens when we present our authentic imperfect selves to the world and and this is what's so important isn't it this this hub is all about you guys being real and and totally me being real as well it's a real safe space for you to come and share what's going on for you and you know those of you that kindly interact in the post is fantastic and those of you that choose perhaps to sit back and just watch what's going on that's perfect wherever you are is just perfect it's just knowing that you feel comfortable to come and be in that space so um, oh, I love that Hetty it's so true and that's the whole thing it's about being in this space without judgment none of us are judging each other there's such a lovely feeling of championing between us and how we can all grow together to be vulnerable in that space of really belonging to the world so that's really what I wanted to share with you tonight short and sweet but an opportunity for me to uh, be challenged by technology about half an hour before I came on to realize I couldn't do this on on the laptop and some construction in my coaching room to, to be able to record this off my phone but um, thank you so much for engaging I'll just check did anyone have any questions or any other comments that they'd like to to share Thank you. Um, I think Nikki has scrolled up now, but I think you said you're going to try that with your other children. So perhaps we could have a post in the hub in a few days' time to see how uh, people have found that, actually uh, trying that out with their children. Oh, you're so welcome, Danny. Hi, Lisa. How are you? So um, I'm also quite intrigued if you found this um, live video useful tonight. Um, whether or not perhaps this could be something that becomes a regular feature in the hub and a great way of us all interacting together and um, maybe we could do it um, once every now and then even a particular day of a week and try that out as well so 
Oh, what's that when I hold up the book? Is there going to be a comment? Oh, you see it as a mirror image. Okay, that's worth knowing. Thank you, Gemma. So the book was Daring Greatly by Brené Brown. So um, if any of you are interested, absolutely fantastic book. And if you've not seen any of Brené's um, TED Talks, I highly recommend the vulnerability one. She is a real inspiration to me um, and who I am. So that's fantastic. Maybe we could all try doing this. Oh, I love that idea. Maybe we could each host a different one each week, Hetty. There's some... Um, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? So, um, oh, bless you. Thank you, Nikki. Guys, thank you so much for letting me indulge in this. Um, so next week I'm going to be speaking in a business live group talking about gratitude. I think I've got about half an hour. So that's going to be really exciting. And as, as I'm sure you've realised, this is a particular passion of mine. So I don't think I'll have any problem talking about it for a length of time. So I will leave you tonight by, oh, thank you, Hetty. Um, I will leave you by saying go out there, go find those crunchy leaves, go out there, act in the perspective of a three-year-old and just enjoy the world from, from those eyes and, and really just connect and, and also really notice what's going on with your body as you connect with that um, perspective. You know, the more often we connect with a positive perspective, the stronger we connect those pathways in the brain that deal with positivity. And um, we know that from research, those of us that um, connect with gratitude and practice gratitude, even just for a week, a few months later, still feel much more positive. And did you know we have over 60,000 thoughts a day and 50,000 of those thoughts are the same thoughts that we had the previous day. So the more of those thoughts that we can encourage to be positive and really connect with gratitude, just imagine what the world can transpire for us and, and how different mentally and physically that can really support our well-being as well so have a lovely evening um crunchy leaves perspective absolutely hetty so thank you very much i leave you with that go be with your crunchy leaves perspective and i may well surprise you with another live video soon take care guys lovely to speak to you and have a lovely evening bye